trying to get my life together, y'all, but life has been lifing. I've been trying to put this video together for you guys for a while now. It is just some footage of me going to Vegas. And before I went to Vegas, someone special came to visit it. So what do you think of her? She's so adorable. <laughs> She's precious. So this is when I arrived in Vegas, you guys. I stayed at the Stratosphere Hotel, and it was a really nice hotel. There was so much stuff to do inside and around the hotel. So I'm just going to take you guys along on my birthday trip. I'm deciding to try this today, you guys. It is Happy Lemon. It's a bubble tea place here in Vegas. And they have some really, really cool flavors. I'm also getting a waffle. I'm getting the original waffle. And I'm going to get a strawberry shortcake smoothie. So we're going to see how that tastes today. I'm excited, actually. But their little shop is super cute, you guys. Like, so cute. So here's the smoothie, you guys. The strawberry shortcake. And oh my gosh, it's huge. I cannot wait to taste it. We're still waiting for my waffle. So you guys, this is the bubble waffle. And I have this, and I tasted that already. Oh my gosh, the strawberry shortcake is smoothie is so good. So now I'm gonna taste the waffle. And I don't have no stand, so y'all gotta forgive my little jinky setup that I got going on here. That's my daughter, y'all, of course. So anyways, we're gonna find this. It's hot. Mm -hmm. okay, so, good. so mm -hmm. it tastes like a waffle, but it also tastes like a like a, a sh like a sugar cone, mm -hmm. like ice cream. Ten out of ten recommend. She didn't get none. She just got regular. So good. Alright y'all, I'll let y'all know when we go somewhere else so you guys can um, see something that I try. But bubble, bubble waffle at Happy Lemon is super good. Oh my god. Now we're at Dirty Dogs you guys. My daughter wanted to eat here. Or Dirt Dog rather. So, I had to cut really quick because there were people walking by. But anyways, I can't really eat any of this stuff, even though it looks really tasty. But I did get the, the street corn, minus the bacon bits. So we're going to see how that tastes here in just a minute. Now, the presentation is just so cute. Come in this little to-go thing. And there it is, you guys. Oh my goodness. We're gonna see how good this is because I'm not for sure. Put y'all down, thing around. Y'all can barely see me, but anyways, and the music might be loud too. But my apologies. So let's try this and see what it's getting on. It's a little messy, not gonna lie. Hopefully, I don't make that much of a mess. Oh my god. Okay, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. This is definitely authentic street warm. I'm getting waxed. I'm getting waxed. I'm getting waxed. 
the world's greatest wax museum. The world's greatest wax museum. The world's greatest wax museum. That definitely looks like her. So throughout this video in this um, wax museum, the music gets pretty loud. I just wanted to warn y'all, so y'all might want to turn y'all's volume down. But yeah, um, this was like the sports kind of uh, room. And uh, it wasn't my favorite exhibit here, but, you know, it was nice to see, um, especially Muhammad Ali, um, the younger version of him. This stuff looks so realistic, you guys. I didn't think it was going to creep me out, but... It definitely did. Um, it looked like they could just come alive at any moment. I was definitely feeling some type of way after being in there. So I'm kind of uh, not getting too close, <laughs> so to speak. Um, my youngest daughter told me that I would feel that way once we came here. But I didn't think that um, it would really happen. Um, there is a younger version of Shaq right there. And we just really enjoyed ourselves. Now, Sissy, that walk. Carlando, I'm sure you're loving this right now. This looks so much like Rue. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Yes. Okay, girl. Okay, y'all. So we're coming up to Missy. Oh my goodness, that looks like her. Hold on, there's people in the way. I don't want to get them on the camera. Oh my goodness. This looks so much like her, you guys. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. amazing you guys this looks like her so much so cute
don't think so. Nicholas Cage is in the wedding chapel. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea why they would put him in a wedding chapel. Oh, there was a wedding dress I guess you could put on to take a picture. <laughs> That's funny. No, that's the way we came, Deja. So I guess this is where most of the sinkers are. Um, what is this? The Eismans? Donnie and I don't know their names. Y'all can let me know. I forget. We have Robert De Niro on the back of there when he was younger. Who this is right here. This is Beth Midler right here, younger. Uh, Celine Dion. So this thing is so So I had to take a picture with the one and the only Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce, of course. <laughs> so everybody, Vegas has been like amazing so far and I'm really, really like having a blast. Um, I'm about to actually do this now. I think it's called a gundagala. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but we're gonna go take a ride on one of these and it's super romantic I know but I've just always wanted to do this so I think it's gonna be pretty fun Loving it so far, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Atlanta, yeah. So pretty here. I'm gonna take off soon. Sure. This is just so peaceful. And you guys, I picked the perfect time to come because the weather is really nice here right now. Not too hot. So let me enjoy this ride. We'll be back with you guys soon. Ding a ding a ding ding a ding a ding, -a -ding and you'll sing a thing of a laugh. Hearts with pain. <laughs> like a day talent in love. The stars make you drool like a pasta fasul. That's a morning. When you dance down the street, 
If the clouds at your feet, you're in love. <laughs> when you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, signore. Excuse me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's <laughs> so like I was hypnotized by these Lam Lamborghinis y'all this hot pink one was just so pretty I am in the Paradox Museum and it's kind of like the Illusion Museum back in Atlanta where I live and look at this beautiful rose like tunnel wall thing so dope I love it it's really pretty and then over here we have some kind of Elvis kind of thing it's really cool Here. Oh wow, look at that. Sorry for y'all who have problems with flashing lights. Don't watch this part. Hope the video, but oh my god, that's so cool. So I'm not for sure what this is, but that looks cool. Oh, you guys, the mirror maze. Are we gonna go in here? So this is the mirror maze, y'all. So we in this mirror maze. Oh my, oh my gosh, I feel like us. I'm scared. I feel like us. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, this, this, that's not a way. This is a way? This is, yeah, Whoa. this is a way. Whoa. This is Whoa. trippy. Whoa. Now you saw it coming here and I. Uh-uh. Whoa. <laughs> Mom, which one are you? <laughs> this is me. I'm just going to stay close to you, so this is fun. This is really fun. Yeah, we got out this way. It's just a carousel right here. It's pretty cool. I don't know, it's called the tilted room, so I guess it gets smaller. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna get smaller, or no, is it just tilted? No, this isn't the room that gets smaller. This it's just tilts. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> That's funny. What in the world? But taking a picture though, Deja, look. Hold on, take a picture. Okay. So this is super so trippy in here, you guys. My daughter said she's scared because it moves around. Whoa. It's really cool though. Damn, it's trippy. These over here, I'm not for sure what they do. <laughs> it's really cool. Me or does this make y'all skin itch? Because it definitely makes mine itch. Ugh. That's really weird. Can you guys see the silhouettes of people in the columns? Really trippy. I like that. And look at this hallway. So dope. I'm trying not to get my daughter and her boyfriend in this frame, but... Stimulus brightness. This is really cool. I'm trying to go a little slow, you guys. I'm going to make it all dizzy. Look into it. The gray area goes 
So this is like a really cool museum. I love it. Really enjoying myself right now. cool shout out to fat tuesdays and casamigos y'all because those were my two best friends while i was in vegas so this is um us outside of our hotel and we were at the end of the strip uh, we were walking actually to the mall that day um the mall was really nice we had a good time i didn't get any footage there but I really wish I would have because the mall had some really neat stuff inside of it. Also, y'all know I'm a big foodie, so the food was so amazing. Oh, I loved it. This was inside of the Venetian, you guys. It was around Valentine's Day. So they had this really pretty kind of exhibit in one of their main halls or main lobbies. I don't know what you would call it because it is a casino slash hotel, but it was so beautiful. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. Once again, a foodie moment, you guys. So this was the actual day of my birthday, Valentine's Day, and I wanted sushi. So that is what we had for my birthday dinner. And we went to an all-you-can-eat sushi, sushi spot, excuse me, um, and it was amazing, you guys. 10 out of 10 recommend. So we are staying at the Strat Hotel, and um, our hotel is pretty tall, so it does have this stratosphere tower feature um it's a thousand 149 feet tall and um it's taller than most of these uh, monuments in the world so i definitely wanted to go up there because they said it's the best view of vegas in the whole state so at first you go on the inside and you can see the view um, there's like uh, bars up here in like a restaurant. It's really nice, really cozy. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, a really, really beautiful view. You guys could see Sin City. It's amazing. Like, wow. Mostly where you see all those lit up areas is where the actual um, strip is. So where you see all the big buildings and all that, that is exactly where the strip is. That's where everything is. Um, here's a better view and I even got the sphere in there. Um, you'll also see this uh, up close um, once we go um, to the outside view at the very top of the uh, stratosphere tower. But it was a really beautiful view, you guys. I really enjoyed it. So here is the outside view now, and it was so beautiful, you guys. Like, it was really serene. Um, behind me, actually, fun fact, there is a uh, roller coaster type, like, ride, and there's also bungee jumping where you jump off of the stratosphere down on the ground of the hotel. Um, I would not enjoy doing that, but there were a lot of people who did. Um, you guys, I also zip lined while I was here on Fremont Street. Um, I really, really wish I was able to, um, 
capture that, but unfortunately my daughter wasn't able to get me doing it. Um, I did, however, have some pictures. Um, I may post those at the end, but, um, this was really nice and I enjoyed it. It was a really, really beautiful view. And this was the best birthday trip ever. My 40th birthday, y'all don't owe me nothing. <laughs>